Welcome back to the channel. All right, it is Cyber Weekend. Is Wolverine Weapon X worthy of $1,000? Is he worth it? Absolutely not. However, if you do have him, here's what you got. And you've got an absolute beast. Now, I've been doing videos on him for a while. I did not realize he was this good. I was participating in the deals. He came along. I had seen Tom Jarvis, TJ's videos. And I was like, I kind of want to do that too. Although it was interesting because uh, TJ actually told me it was, he was watching me do some fights, but whatever. I'm going to show him Battlegrounds. I'm going to show you fights where you're like, he can do that? We're going to show him questing, the whole thing, right? Okay, here we go. So this is against... Uh, Nightcrawler. And now I've done this against a seven star rank three awakened Nightcrawler as well, too. The video call is just not as good. So I would thought I would show you this. And actually, it is not that different. And I know part of you are like, what the heck is going on? Did I really just get this after getting all of those deals? Yeah, the answer is yes. And keep in mind, this is completely unawakened, right? So when he goes into rage, he's going to heal back 100% of the damage done. Now, he doesn't heal back like dots and bursts. So keep that in mind. Uh, that can help you out. But the other thing that's going on, and this is why, and I hope that you've seen my videos showing them just dominating like bullseyes and stuff, is it's the same concept here. When attacks are missed or evade, so your attacks are miss or they evade, you gain two rage, which helps them stay berserk, and then you have a 100% chance to go unstoppable. And so they're hitting you, but you heal it all back, uh, back anyways. Here's the other thing. Uh, and I know right now you're like, Red Skull? Yes, because Red Skull can't block your attack if you are unblockable. So it takes a little bit of setup, right? We use our heavy to increase our rate checks now, and now we can just go. It is go time, baby, because we are unblockable. There's nothing Red Skull can do. There's nothing Red Skull can do. He has a low health pool. These bleeds are just doing their damage anyway. You can see I saw 13 uh, rage stacks. So because I know and I trust me I get it I if I had not played him for so long and done so many videos on him I would be like well that was only a rank two Red Skull really did you watch that and think that like another 40,000 health was going to make a difference for Red Skull no that was another like two seconds maybe here we go against Bullseye the key for fights I know this is uh I think this is rich get richer or whatever I've done this fight so many times the key when fighting Bullseye is to, you know, you don't want to take too many of the bleeds, right? Because we talked about it. You're not going to heal that back. Also, you kind of like just keep going. You can almost tell that like, I don't know. I have my theories that uh, Weapon X was built as like a boss and those sorts of things. And then they just kind of put him in the game. And so his animations, the way he works, I think it's just like really fortuitous that he can just absolutely destroy these sorts of things. You want to use your striker. But look at that. I have produced that result so many times over. Sometimes it goes a little awry because I personally do something wrong or I don't do the fight correctly or I just forget, but you could reproduce that fight over and over and over. He will get better at it, right? I'm very open to that idea. Now, you don't see Storm X's that much anymore, but it does come up depending on the meta. This is what I love about a dual threat champion. You can draft him. He's one of my favorite champions to draft almost no matter the meta. I take him. And I initially, honestly, I've gotten to the point now where I think of him as an attacker who I can place on defense should the draft go that way or the actual uh, match go that way. And remember, yeah, I'm going to show you him in question two. Here's a good example of obviously I've got secondary damage sources on me, but because he heals back 100% and I'm expecting to recovery and all that good stuff, we're uh, back. Well, we were back to 100%, but then I let her just beat the crap out of me. We're unblockable. I remembered that. Use it to my advantage. And lo and behold, we end up back at 98% health. I hope I included one of the fights where I start. I intentionally take uh, tank special threes i'm not sure i did because i you know i didn't want to just throw every single fight i've ever done in for this one i wanted you guys to see what you're getting with this again this is kindred you can bleed kindred you want your specials ready right because kindred's going to go to that last uh one percent or five percent you need the special to uh to end this fight so here we go kindred similar to uh, Red Skull health pool is not large. So if this had been a seven star rank three, I, I really don't think this would have looked any different. You can see uh, being unblockable really helps. Uh, looks like you're getting hit. I know that looks strange. I know you're like, what? Uh, that's why we're getting that massive passive fury. It's a it's a passive. So when you fight Mystic Champs, you don't have to worry about it. I've used him to beat up Sasquatches. 
Uh, just a variety of the champions that we most likely see in Battlegrounds and uh, as defenders. Whatever, 51,000, that's a seven star rank three kindred. What, like 50,900? Like, still great. All right, I had to go back and do an edit because I actually put in this fight. I forgot that I did. I just love Weapon X. All right, so uh, this one is a great example of 362,000. This fight actually can go faster. I've seen, like, I think it's TJ who's done it, and I've seen other people do it, and I believe even I have. I just couldn't find it because uh, I could have swore I've taken out a rank three. But what this for me is is a great example of how just... I don't want to. I don't want to lead you down the wrong path. I don't want to say insane. You can play him because, like I've talked about in the other fight, you want to be smart about it, right? You do. He can die. I've lost fights with him. I've made mistakes, but you can just be so insanely aggressive. Where, you, when you are in your rage, you know you're going to heal it back. You can't have it be an SP3 that's going to kill you. But as you can see, I'm going for it here. I'm doing my best to keep my rage going. That's why I threw. Uh, the heavy and then the special is helpful. I'm actually really kind of hoping, as of this point, hoping that the Sasquatch will either throw the special or not. He waits so long, makes it a little bit more difficult, but you're going to see uh, how this plays out, right? So he's going to throw his special three. Uh, we will also lose some health because of it. He's going to go into the Wrath of Tanrak, which actually means uh, that protection type of ability has will now go away. And because we're unblockable, we know we can just jump straight into it. And we got it off. If the fight had gone longer, I believe we would have healed more. We were back up to 90%. 48,000 score against a uh, Sasquatch. Not saying that's like the best score ever, but that's the sort of versatility. And like I said, I, I know that fight can actually get better. Uh, going in, another very common defender here is this Nick Fury. And keep in mind, right? We started off uh, with Red Skull. I started off with uh, Nightcrawler and Bullseye, who I think are much more common defenders, right? Or more that you'd be thinking about using him. He's so great because those champions have that evader, that miss. They're gonna help you get more rage. They're gonna help, it's that green stack, it turns red uh, when you go berserk, okay? And so when that runs out, you run out of uh, rage, right? You run out of berserk. So those champions with their miss and their evade actually help you stay in it, which is why he's so good for them. You don't have to do the things like I just did right there, like land the heavy to keep my uh, my stats going. But you can see this can work out really, really well. I actually fell off, so that's poor management on my part. I, again, I know this can go faster uh, as you get better at it. I just don't see that many Nick Furies anymore. And I usually use my uh, Wolverine Weapon X to just destroy people's uh, bullseyes. But again, I wanna give you a little flavor, a little idea of just like how insanely versatile this guy is in Battlegrounds, and like I said, there are going to be two questing fights here as well. I've done a full video on him soloing a bunch. I don't remember which uh, Lion Tour Showcase meta it was, but he soloed a ton of those fights, like in some of the mini bosses. So here's like Cold Feet, Embrace Your Fate, Ticking Time Bomb. This is a, uh, a spot. This was some sort of quest. I don't know if this is EQ. I don't, I don't recall what exactly this was. 237. I'm not going to uh, tell you that that's like a tremendous... Um, a health pool here but this is in the game it was either an eq boss or some sort of like side quest or something like that we were running the recoil tree doesn't look like i am a horseman for this one uh but like this fight is just over <laughs> like it, it doesn't it doesn't matter uh because uh weapon x is just going to absolutely destroy it for us here there it's done it's over it's donezos right uh, that's just what you can do with him. And then, again, all of this is unawakened. All of this is unawakened. Uh, another edit there, because I wanted to check out the next fight. It is against uh, Spider-Ham. Now, you're going to see the nodes is that he's going to go unblockable when he throws a special. Uh, and then he's got Power Focus 1. He's going to get to a special 1 even faster, right? And I recall why I wanted to even do this, which is to kind of see how this would pan out. <laughs> um, remember, Spider-Ham does have an evade and all that stuff here, so... Uh, we're gonna, just going to go in. You can see how quickly he's got to a special. I'm just trying to get set up. Uh, and remember, you need to get hit when you're in Berserk. You need to get hit to get that massive fury. So things are going pretty well for us uh, right now. There it is. I've gotten hit. I've gotten my massive fury. And uh, the spider ham is just literally, like, dead. Um, it doesn't matter that he's unblockable because we are in rage and um, yeah, that, that's, that was literally it. Those are the sort of fun in questing you can have with this guy. 
So again, in case you missed the intro, which I don't know how that would be possible, but if you did, is he objectively worth a thousand dollars? No. Is he subjectively worth a thousand dollars? Absolutely not. No champion is. Uh, um, but if you're buying all those deals and you're having fun with the rake up resources, this is what you got. I will link the playlist to uh, Weapon X because there's so much more in the description here and you can check it out. You went out and got him. Congratulations. If you've made it this far in the video and you didn't go and get him, um, don't let this decide that you should go get him. You're going to be absolutely fine without him. He eventually will come in some sort of way or, you know, he, no, no champion in this game is necessary. All right. As usual, though, let me know what you think we got right. Let me know what you think we got wrong. Thank you so much for watching. Okay.